Hey, what is going on, everybody? JB here with another political video. And today, we're going to be talking about how Walmart has gotten to a lot of hot water recently when they, quote-unquote, accidentally, which I do believe it was an accident, sent out a tweet that was criticizing a person who was saying, hey, we're not going to accept the election results, and they're going to be objecting to it in uh, the court proceedings. Now, we're going to be talking about this in depth. Now, I just want to point out one thing. YouTube, I'm not saying anything about the election, even though we all know what the humans know what I'm talking about. You YouTube bought not saying anything. Uh, Orange Man, good. That's what I'm just going to say to you guys. But before we end the video, I dip into a quick little shameless plug. Please consider subscribing. It really helps the channel grow. I'm trying to hit 130 subscribers before the end of the year. So, 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 so close. We have one day left. I think you guys can do it. And if not, who cares? We had 100 subs, which I did not think I was going to do this year. So that's pretty cool. Now let's go into the video. But after I check to one day, let's see. Check me out on Perler where I update all my videos in case you don't get YouTube. Your YouTube doesn't notify you. Hit the notification bell just in case some, for some reason feels like doing it. And yeah, let's do the actual video. So first things first, we'll be talking about Trump to return to Washington early ahead of Republican plan to disrupt certification of Biden's win. Blah blah blah. They talk about all this stuff, and this is this this is just them like criticizing him and all that. But the, I want to start here saying. This is just setting the stage for the, what the whole Walmart incident. So, while in Florida, Trump has repeatedly raised the January 6th date with members of Congress and other associates, according to people familiar with the conversation. He lobbied senators on whether they should go along with, white, with along with House conservatives and objecting to the results. Senator Josh Howley, who we'll talk about today, a Missouri Republican, became the first senator to say Wednesday that he would object, which would delay. And then they, they put that. That's their opinion. The results of the Electoral College count. Trump has also tweeted to his supporters that he'll see them in Washington on that date, a reference to large protests that were planned in the Capitol. Florida Trump has been surrounded by people who mostly back his valiant election efforts, including his personal attorney Rudy Giuliani and his son Donald Trump Jr. and his girlfriend Kimberly Guilfoyle. Even as he publicly fights the results, one question he's repeatedly polled people about is whether he should attend Biden's inauguration. Trump's told people recently that Pence isn't doing enough to fight for him as his presidency ends for, until he gets former Rios and has recently taken in, an interest in Pence's traditional role during the certification. As president of the Senate, Pence presides over the proceedings. So to say Trump, before his petition, brought the matter up to the vice president and has been confused as to why Pence can't overturn the results of the election on January 6th. Pence and White House aides have tried to explain to him that his role is more of a formality and he cannot unilaterally reject the Electoral College votes. So basically, they're talking about that, how Trump seems to be unknowing about that, which we, we really don't know. This is freaking CNN politics, so we know what side you're getting. So now, to the juicy, juicy info about Walmart, who are now having to apologize for calling Josh Howley a quote-unquote sore loser in mis a mistaken tweet about Electoral College certification. Now, we all know... What's going on with the election? We all know. So, okay, Walmart, one of America's largest retailers, apologized to Wednesday for mistakenly, quote unquote, calling GOP Senator Josh Howley a hashtag soil loser on Twitter. They, they, this is the statement they say the tweet was mistakenly posted by a member of our social media team who intended to publish this comment to their personal account. This is Casey Stalhaley, Walmart Senior Manager of National Media Relations. That's what they told Newsweek. Quote, we have removed the post and have no intention to commenting on the subject of certifying, of certifying of the Electoral College. End quote. Stalia added, quote, we apologize to Senator Howley for this error and any confusion about our position. End quote. So, while well, Street was originally posted in response to the Missouri Senator's decision to object when Congress meets next week to tally the results of the presidential election, as we just all talked about, and he said, quote, I cannot vote to certify the Electoral College results on January 6th without raising the fact that some states, particularly Pennsylvania, failed to follow their own state election laws, end quote. And that's very, very so much true. A lot of states violated the constitutional laws, those state constitutional laws, which is why it's such a shame that the Supreme Court gave up on the American people and didn't want to fight for the actual truth and justice that we also deserve and want. Quote, and I cannot vote to certify without pointing out the unprecedented effort of mega corporations, including Facebook and Twitter, to interfere with the selection in support of Joe Biden, end quote. Very much so true. We've seen a lot of things saying we're going to push this information through oh Trump says something we're going to censor it censor 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 even though he's not really saying anything incorrect well almost original tweet which has since been deleted said this uh basically Josh Hawley put this saying millions of voters concerned about election integrity is to be heard I will object on January 6th on their behalf well almost says go ahead get your two-hour debate hashtag sore loser sounds like who's really the sore loser in this situation Holly's suggestion with the support of GOP Representative Mo Brooks of Alabama would bring a two-hour debate in the House and Senate, 
basically then the saying would go on. So basically, Chachali said, Thanks, Walmart, for your insulting condescension. Now that you've insulted 75 million Americans, will you at least apologize for using Slave labor? I'm assuming he said that in other countries. Um, or maybe you like to apologize for the pathetic wages you pay your workers as you drive mom and pop shop stores out of business. And, ooh, it's spicy. Spicy replies. Some Twitter have since called for boycotting the giant, retail giant in response to the comment on uh, to the senator. Some saying from Cameron Henry, this is absolutely insane. Walmart being ov- overtly political and calling Senator Josh Howley a quote-unquote sore loser for being concerned about the election integrity. Good to know which side they are on. Hashtag boycott Walmart. And then quote from Gabriel Whitley, wow, I would never shop at Walmart ever again. Uh, and things like that. All I have to say is, I will shop at Walmart. Um, I don't, Walmart's not a store I usually go to, though. It's not like, oh, I'm going to Walmart, baby. Mm. I'll probably go to, like, I don't know. I, I, I don't really go to, like, Walmart. I usually go to grocery stores. Like, I, I don't need things from Walmart. If I need things from Walmart, I can get on Amazon. So, things like that. But, again, again, I'm probably going to put hashtags uh, boycott Walmart because of this video make it more traction. Hashtag soy loser, all that stuff. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um... Please, just please, please subscribe. It would really help me a lot. I'm trying to grow this channel, trying to get the best I can. Leave a comment below so um, I can make this channel better. I've been getting a few comments that were somewhat negative, but guess what? I appreciate it because I want I want to know who's seeing this video. If you're a Democrat and you're seeing this video and you overtly hate what I'm saying and you disagree with me, let me know why because I want to learn. I want to be well rounded. I know what I believe and I've looked at both sides and I try to get the best information I can. I usually try to have sources from both sides. I use CNN and then I don't really know Newsweek follows i believe they're more conservative leaning sometimes I i'm not exactly sure but what it comes down to is i try to use both sides to make my opinion and all this th- thing but i i do want to try to be as i mean obviously i'm not going to be unbiased i, I am biased because I, I have political beliefs we all are biased in our own ways but i try to phrase it in some way that i believe is morally correct and what i think the correct information should be because when it, the, the basis of this whole video is Walmart, even if they it wasn't them doing it, someone on their team made a mistake, and that needs to be acknowledged. Now, I'm using it, obviously, to push off that fact and say, hey, we're looking at the election to see if it should be certified, all these things, but I do have to go through that. You understand what I'm talking about. But again, 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 I hope you all did enjoy this video. I hope you all have a wonderful... It's It should be the um, New Year's Eve, so I hope you guys have a great New Year's Eve. And I love you all. Thanks for watching. Orange Man 2020, Carrot Boy, Cheeto Puff Man for the win. I, I, I don't even know why I say anymore. But don't worry, guys. We still got this. We still have a chance. And we're going to get four more years. Do not give up hope. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Again, subscribe, check me out on Polar, all those good things. And I'll see you next one. Bye, everybody.